Hello, this is the ABIT department, Westminster Computer Lab, and I just wanted to show you today how to allow instructors to grab work from the different workstations uh, to store onto a USB stick and also to save space onto the computer system. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you a piece of software called iTalk. Uh, this is currently showing all of the computer uh, workstations that have uh, work that's been saved uh, using the TuxPaint program. Uh, for example, if I zoom in here to a particular computer account, there are a bunch of um, paintings that have been created um, by whoever was using the computer system. Um, these um, paintings are also on the other workstations uh, in the lab. What I wanted to show you today is how I could actually grab those and actually remove them from the system and have them stored onto my USB key with the, time, with the date and timestamp as well. Um, how do we do this? Well, on the main desktop of the uh, teacher account, uh, there are several icons uh, that are necessary uh, for the people to run the computer lab. For example, automatically starting the workstations, uh, running the computer lab management software. And by the way, if you're interested in learning more about this, there will be another YouTube video regarding this. Uh, grab work and uh, shut down the uh, computer server after all of the workstations have been shut down. Um, we're just going to focus on the grab uh, work application today. In order to start it, you just point and double click onto it. You may be required to type in the same password that allowed you to log into your teacher account. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you're given a welcoming screen that just talks a little bit about the purpose of this, um, machine, um, this uh, program. Clicking on OK asks you now to insert your USB stick into the computer server. Once you do this, in a few moments, you may notice that the window opens up to show the contents of your drive. It might be a good idea to note the name of the particular drive or label. Um, right now, don't close this. We will view this a little bit later on to confirm that the work has actually been grabbed transferred over to the USB stick. I'm just going to minimize this right now and click on OK. It'll take a few moments and shortly a screen will come up showing you the different storage devices that you can store on. I recommend to store on your USB drive, which I'm doing. Click OK. Now there are two, right now as it stands, there are two accounts that are on the system, the Jam uh, accounts and the Studio accounts. We're going to, these uh, um, TuxPaint uh, productions were created in the Jam account. So I'm just going to select Jam, click OK, and right now it asks for the most common types of work to be transferred over. Right now there currently is Tux Paintings, Word Processing through OpenOffice, and Slideshows through OpenOffice. If people are interested in adding on more applications to this, they can make a request through the ABIT department. I'm just going to select Tux Paintings and click OK. Now this is an interesting feature. It asks us if we want to delete those uh, paintings that have been grabbed. Um, why would you want to do that? Simply to save space prevent clutter on the system. Uh, on the other hand, if you find that you're doing a project that requires more than, um, um, more than a sitting, for example, some big project that you're working on over several weeks, you can select no, and yet that gives you the option of making a backup copy in case something goes wrong. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to actually delete these grabbed uh, uh, paintings. And now it indicates that the grab has been completed and that we can verify this by actually uh, checking the, the, uh, the USB stick. I'm just going to do it right now. I'm just going to click on OK, bring up my folder, and now we notice that a new folder has been added in called Church Lab. We go into it. It automatically places on not only the date stamp, but for example, if other people are using the lab within the same day, if we go in there, a timestamp. So for example, it's 10 to 16, or was when I ran this program. So let's uh, just open up. And here is all the grab work that's on the system. So now I can actually um, take this home on my USB stick. Before proceeding, 
you should click on this button beside the name of your drive just to safely remove the USB uh, key from your system and now you're free to take out and, uh, and uh, proceed uh, to your heart's content. So therefore people have a way to, uh, to grab the stuff very quickly and make their life easier. This is the AVID, AVIT department wishing you um, happy volunteering and we're just here to help you guys out to make your job a little easier. Roll credits.